It had been seven years since Party Next Door last performed in the six. However, one Thursday night in May, approximately 2,500 fans gathered at History, the Toronto venue co-owned by Drake. Party's OVO label boss, in partnership with Live Nation since 2021, to welcome him back to the city. They enthusiastically chanted the lyrics to his beloved hits like Wuss Good slash Curious. Sirius XM Canada chose the singer, songwriter, and producer to headline the sold-out Party Next Door Friends concert, celebrating its new 24-7 hip-hop and RV channel, Mixtape, North, which showcases Canadian talent. Transforming history into a full-fledged OVO fest was a fitting tribute to the country's brightest stars. Nearly all of the influential label's artists graced the stage. And even Drake himself surprised the crowd with performances of his and Party's mid-2010s collaborations, Recognize and Come and See Me. I don't mean to put you on the spot or anything. I know you hate this the most, Drake chuckled, his arm around his introverted labelmate. I'm so grateful for you. I would not be the artist I am if it wasn't for you. Then, turning to the audience, this is really my favorite artist in the world. Over the past decade, Hardy, aged 30, has established himself as an alternative RB artist who captivates listeners with hazy, hypnotic auto-tuned vocal melodies, nocturnal trap production, and lyricism that explores the pleasures and problems of the late hours. While his music often exudes a late night, hedonistic vibe, his authentic patois and dancehall infused rhythms add an irresistible Caribbean flavor. After a seven-year hiatus from performing in the six, Party Next Door returned to the stage one Thursday night in May. Approximately 2,500 fans gathered at History, the Toronto venue co-owned by Drake, Party's OVO label boss in partnership with Live Nation since 2021, eagerly chanting the lyrics to his beloved hits like Wuss Good slash Curious. Sirius XM Canada selected the singer, songwriter, and producer to headline the sold-out Party Next Door Friends concert, celebrating its new 24-7 hip-hop and RB channel, Mixtape, North, which spotlights Canadian talent. Transforming history into a full-fledged OVO fest honored the country's brightest stars. Nearly all of the influential label's artists graced the stage. And even Drake himself made a surprise appearance to perform his and Party's mid-2010s collaborations, Recognize and Come and See Me. I don't mean to put you on the spot or anything. I know you hate this the most, Drake chuckled, his arm around his introverted labelmate. I'm so grateful for you. I would not be the artist I am if it wasn't for you. Then, turning to the audience, this is really my favorite artist in the world. Over the past decade, Party, aged 30, has established himself as an alternative RB artist who captivates listeners with hazy, hypnotic auto-tuned vocal melodies, nocturnal trap production, and lyricism that explores the pleasures and problems of the late hours. While his music often exudes a late night, hedonistic vibe, his authentic patois and dancehall infused rhythms add an irresistible Caribbean flavor. Meanwhile, Party has also made a name for himself as one of pop music's most sought-out hitmakers. Collaborating behind the scenes with artists such as Kanye West, Beyoncé, Jay-Z, Post Malone, and Rihanna. Despite his impressive contributions to some of the biggest songs of the decade, Party has yet to fully step out from Drake's shadow and attain the level of stardom many expected. Nonetheless, he remains focused on his craft, prioritizing music over fame. I'm just keeping the main thing the main thing. Party remarks. The only thing that's important, that has changed my life, is dropping music. I'm not worried about the fame. While he may not actively seek attention, Party proudly wears a flashy pendant chain gifted by Drake, symbolizing their collaboration on Drake's latest album. Despite occasional absences from the public eye, Party remains dedicated to his artistry. He acknowledges that relationships often take precedence over music but plans to take a break from them and focus on creating music. 
And while his relationships may inspire his songwriting, Hardy's candid approach ensures that his music remains authentic to his experiences.